Hey guys, this is Luke Sievers with One Nine Productions, here for all your music production needs, as well as graphic design and websites. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to create a free website, and I'm also going to show you how to make the cheapest website possible, at least that I know how. So uh, to start off, first of all, we're going to use WordPress, uh, which is typically a blogging platform, but it actually um, is a pretty simple way that you can make a website for yourself. So uh, first of all, go ahead and go to WordPress.com. So you can see that here. We're going to click Create Website. Now from here, you have to create a domain name. So we're going to do the cheap site.wordpress.com and it's available. So then you just do create your site. So now it's going to ask you for some login information. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Now, the cool thing is with this with WordPress, you can actually um, get a domain name for very cheap. Um, and this is for the whole year. So I don't know any other website that has something that's this cheap. So you kind of select from one of the, the options that are already here. Most of them are only $18. So for our purposes, we're not going to select one of those. We're just going to continue. And next it's going to ask us to choose a theme. Um, now we're actually going to switch over to a pre-made website that I've been working on. So we can uh, show you how that works from the dashboard. So here we are at the dashboard. We are going to select our theme. So what you can do is go down to Appearance, Themes. So you can see there's several themes you can choose from. I recommend going to the free one. You can pay for some if you want. But again, we're going for the free or the cheapest possible. The one we're going to be working with today is called Edin. I chose this one because I feel like it's very clean and it can be used for uh, many different purposes, for business or, or whatever. If you're looking just for a blog, of course, you can probably choose any one of these. So um, let's take a look at what this looks like. So you'll notice that uh, right now it's displaying just our posts, our blog posts. So that's probably the default, but we need to change that. So what you can do is go under Appearance, go to Customize. Under Static Front Page, that looks like we need to actually select which one we want for it. So um, I already have some pages in here, so I'm going to click Home for Front Page. And for the Post Page, I'm going to click Blog. So I'm going to still have a blog on this website, but it's going to display my home page as a static page. Save and Publish. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a page Pretty simple to do that. Just go over here on the dashboard, add new for, under the pages, and now we're actually going to create an about section. And I have some HTML I'm actually going to paste over there. To do the HTML, you go to text, visual, we'll show you what it looks like. So then another important thing is we want to add some nice headers to this website, so some pictures. And that's going to be the way we're going to make this site look really good. So for this one, under Featured Image, you set Featured Image. I'm going to select one of these. So once I'm done with that, a few other things I want to make sure that I don't allow comments because it's a page. Yeah, I don't think I want to show likes or the sharing buttons. So now I click Publish, and now View Page. And there you have it. There's our About page. Now if we go here to the Home page, you notice that it looks pretty bland right now, and that's going to change very soon. But the first way we can fix that, go Edit here. By the way, you can also get to your pages by just clicking on the pages here in the dashboard. And you can scroll through them. So this is our home page. 
Now the first thing that's very important, especially for this theme, you have this template. There's several that you can choose from, but this is our front page, so we want to select this one and it'll have some, some pretty cool features for the front page. Now we're also going to select the header image. So this is what our home page looks like now. Still doesn't look like much, but it's coming along. But now we're actually going to go back to our customize section. We're going to add a few things. So first, site title, tagline, logo. Now I actually have a logo, so I'm going to select that here. And because I have that, I don't want to display my header text. Next, the colors and background. Now, unfortunately, you don't have a lot of choices here. Again, all themes are different, but most of them just don't have a lot of um, options as far as that goes, unless you pay a little extra. Um, but again, you get what you pay for. But we're going to select some different uh, colors here. Now, I personally like the green the best for just what we're doing here. But of course, the background needs to change. Now, real quick, let me show you the wider view. Now, what you can actually do is if you select a white background, it'll actually fill the entire width of the page. And I kind of like that. I feel like that looks pretty modern. So we're going to go with that. And you're going to see the green come up a little bit later. I'm going to skip a header in an image. I don't think it looks very good in this theme. We're going to do the navigation. So I already have my menus created, but I'm going to show you how to do that in just a little bit. So the primary menu, it's kind of right here. I also have a secondary menu for all the genres of beats that I'm going to have on this beat website. So you're going to see that kind of up top. In the footer menu, I'm just going to do the same as the main menu. Under the theme options. Now the default for the menu is this thing here, but I personally don't like that. I think I like the, the classic, so we'll show you what that looks like here. So there you see the green kind of popping out now. Now we're also going to select our uh, featured images here. I have these pages already created. So now we have beats, about, and contacts. So let's kind of see what that looks like. So now you have those here. Don't forget to save and publish. Now we're going to refresh to see what the actual page looks like. I'm just going to widen the screen just so you can see just what it's looking like. That looks a lot better. So now I'm going to show you how to create some menus that will be a part of your navigation on your website. So under Appearance, click on Menus. You can see here you can create several different ones. I'm going to edit my main menu right now. You can kind of see what's here already. You can even have sub-levels. I'm going to go ahead and add the About section, the About page that we created earlier. Click Save. Now we're also going to look at how to add widgets. So I'll show you an example of that real quick. Here's our contacts page. And you see out here on the right column, this is our sidebar. I have a Twitter feed and a Facebook like. Even down here you see some social media icons. Those are all widgets. So back at the dashboard, click on widgets under appearance. So now you have several different areas you can put widgets. We're just going to go ahead and edit the front page 1, 2, and 3, which you can also see here is where the Twitter and Facebook are added to the sidebar. So you have all these widgets available to you. 
I'm going to scroll down here and find recent posts. Footer one. Now I'm going to add the follow blog. Footer two, excuse me, front page two. Actually, I did this wrong, but I can show you how you can move this one down here. I don't actually want it in footer two, on front page two, I want it in front page one. And lastly, we'll add contact info, front page three. You can edit that information. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So now go back to our home page and see what that looks like. There you have it. Home page looks a lot better than it did before. Again, we'll show you the widescreen version of it. Go back and look at the about section that we created earlier. So there you have it. That's how you can create a website for free or for just about $18. You can also get the .com and have all these same features. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. Also, subscribe to our channel, 1-9 Productions. Thank you again for watching.